Creating, supporting, and attracting a knowledge workforce is one of the intelligent community pillars. Each year, rural Minnesota communities send their top students off to college. Getting them, back to move, getting them to move back into the community is a goal of every one of these communities. Last year at this conference, we had student teams from uh, two universities share their perspective about the role of technology in rural communities. This year, we invited the team from the University of Minnesota Morris to return. We challenged them to consider the intelligent community approach and to talk with our demonstration communities about their use of this approach for promoting technology adoption. Please help, them, uh, help me welcome some of our best and brightest from the University of Minnesota Morris, Tara Grayman, Samantha Bruno, Will Dozel, Clara Dux, and Joshua Preston. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. As Bill said, we are the student group for the University of Minnesota. I uh, really appreciate being here and for the comfy documentations they have given us. As you said, my name is Will Dolzel. I'm in my fourth year at the University of Minnesota. I'm studying environmental economics, and I come from Minneapolis. Hi, I'm Sam Bruno. I'm from Foley. Uh, by Cloud. Did you guys Over here. OK, hi, I'm Sam Bruno. I'm from Foley. I'm a sophomore this year at Morris, and I am a studio art major. Hi, I'm Tara Greiman. I'm a double major in environmental studies and psychology. I'm in my senior year at the University of Minnesota Morris, and I am from Dayton, Minnesota. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Josh Preston, my third year at the university, where I'm double majoring in political science and economics, and I'm from uh, Montevideo, Minnesota. Good afternoon. Noon, I am Clara Dux. I am from Stuartville, Minnesota, and it is my fourth and final year at U of M um, as a psychology major. All right, well, I'm going to get us started here. We were asked by the Blandon Foundation to consider the intelligent community framework and uh, look at 11 communities and how they were tackling um, these issues from a, thanks, from a youth perspective. So our presentation is going to consist of some problems that we saw um, or some challenges move towards some solutions, and kind of see how youth perspective looks at these solutions. Let me give me a second trying to figure this thing out here. Nope. All right. Here are some of the communities that we looked at. I'm sure you've seen this map before in the packets. All right. I'm going to start off talking about some challenges that we've noticed that um, several communities have faced. And one of these big ones I'll talk about first is appreciation. Um, appreciation is kind of the valuing and understanding. And with this, I'm going to be talking about broadband understanding how broadband is so important to our communities. Large businesses understand broadband and they appreciate it. As we heard last night from Robert, Geek Squad uses networks to interconnect all of their agents in the field, off the field, and to interconnect them and all their resources to create a network of support that's really dynamic. But how do businesses in small towns